Unsolved, a Nancy Drew production. Tonight's episode, Richard the Editor, or Zodiac Strikes Again. Act One. Richard Joseph Gaikowski was born on March 14, 1936, in South Dakota. And he was born into a large family. And he graduated from Webster High School in 1954. Act 2 Richard enrolled in Northern State Teachers College on September 15, 1954. And then after a year of college, he either enlisted or was, was drafted into the United States Army. He completed his basic training at Fort Chaffee, Arkansas, and his medical corpsman training at Fort Sam Houston, and completed his service hitch as a medical corpsman in Virginia. After his service in the Army, he returned to Northern State in 1957, and he, he graduated with a B.S. in Economics in 1960. Act 3 During my administration, we uh, passed some very important safety legislation so far as uh, putting teeth, for instance, in the driver's license law. Richard was hired as a campaign aide for Governor Ralph Herseth in 1960 or 61. And then here's a photograph of him with the governor. And around this time, he started working for the American News as an editor, and he wrote several, he worked there for more than a year. And then he left for San Francisco in 1963. Act Four. After living in the San Francisco Bay Area for a couple of years, he found this job at, at the News Gazette in Martinez, California. Richard practiced activism journalism when he was employed, and he saw a judge who sent a first-time youthful offender to jail, and he didn't like that. And so what he did, he got himself arrested and went to jail and then reported on the conditions of the jail. Downtown Martinez, California. Driving this way, drive across the bridge, head down this way, come right up here to Lake Herman Road, and then head west and to the first Zodiac crime scene. And then keep going west towards Vallejo and up here to Blue Rock Springs Park. Act 5. At some point, Richard left his editor position at the Martinez newspaper and was living in San Francisco and wrote for Good Times, a radical newspaper. 
And here's his name on one of his articles that he wrote. Also, around this time, Richard was in Albany, New York, and he wrote for the Knickerbocker newspaper there, a real small little newspaper. And supposedly, he was off in Europe during the time of one of the Zodiac murders, so he couldn't have done it. But that isn't clear. Epilogue. I listened to the voice of Richard. I felt shocked and deja vu. In my opinion, he was the same person who I listened to in July of 1969 or twin. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved. And next weekend, on the next Zodiac Killer case, we'll either continue here where I left off, or we'll move on to another suspect. So I'll see you then.